Alright, I'm going to switch content here. I want you to consider an important point for a moment, and that's Bible reading in general. In your quiet time, your daily Bible reading time, I'd like you to consider this format when reading a King James Bible. You know, people are taught to read the Bible with lots of plans and systems. You know, we want to get through the Bible in a year. It means about three chapters a day. We don't really need to read it through in a year. Take time to read and absorb these life-changing words because they are the words of life. They're the words of this life. Do you think that the King James Bible has life-changing words? Well, I do. I've called this Go 123. Go 123 is an intentional plan of reading your King James Bible for the rest of your life. I've had all sorts of problems getting older established saints to do this. You can follow this. It's read then look plan. As well as whatever reading plan you're doing. You can carry on with what you're doing if you like. But start the read look plan. It only takes a few minutes of your day. Do this as a test system and evaluate the results for yourself. You know, evaluate it for 40 days. You'll be so glad you did. Now, will you try out this? I haven't told you what it is yet, but will you try it out? Hope you will. So, listen up. We all know we must read our Bibles. We all know that we should memorize our Bible verses. Okay. Using what we now know, I'm going to show you how to do this and why the Bible should be read this way. And please try to see that, the, that better does not mean that the former was bad. Right? This is a better way. We have so much trouble with this idea. Better simply means better. It doesn't mean that, you know, the thing that it's better than it was bad. The Old Testament was not bad, but the New Testament is better. We get better every day as we hunger after righteousness. Have you ever thought about the Lord Jesus learning obedience to the things that he suffered? Does this infer that he was disobedient? Well, no, it doesn't. So what I'm telling you and what I'm sharing with you now and what I'm asking you to do is a better way of reading the Bible, but it's not doesn't mean what you're doing is wrong. So will you listen to what is said to you here? It's a quiet time thing. Most of us read our Bibles in chunks, whether long or not. We read because we know we have to, and, well, we want to. And I want to show you how to read. You know, some of us don't read English well, but it doesn't matter whether you read well or not. We come from the digital age, so well, don't worry about that, but really we like, um, we like to see things and we like things moving. Okay, our quiet time is very important to most of us and we have been taught to keep it each day, have a quiet time. And let me say, keep your established pattern if you feel that you must, but I want you to add a few minutes on for this go one, two, three pattern and test this method out for yourself. Do you understand why you start in the first book of the King James Bible? Do you understand that? Hope you do, because we're going to start in Genesis, of course, and work our way through to Revelation. Just a bit of background. Did you know that the King James Bible was written to teach reading and English comprehension, that it's capable of doing this all by itself? It's true, it was. There are two fundamental understandings. One, your mind is a self-patterning system, Two, our God designed his word with this in mind. Do you understand this foundation? Do you understand it a little bit even? Your mind is a self-patterning system. God designed it that way. And then God designed his word with this in mind to fit the self-patterning system that your mind is. Praise the Lord. Fits together. Tower of Babel, this is the event that messed up the ability of the human race to communicate and indeed to understand communication. Not just the external languages, but the concept within those languages were all mixed up. 
Now we have the word of God and the Holy Spirit given to us by God to help us through and to sort out what God is saying. God knows that the Tower of Babel, he always had a plan to deal with it. Have you ever been taught about communication? Because normally in everything you do, any subject you do, they teach communication. They do here anyway, all the tech courses, and of course you've got to do a, a unit on communication. Because communication isn't always, is it, in what's said, it's how it's listened to. And anyway, I would have liked to have spent time saying that we're talking about spiritual communication as well, which is something else again. Man has an inability to understand spiritual concepts on their own because he has a dark and unregenerate heart. But maybe we'll have time for that later. The King James Bible is written for progressive understanding from Genesis to Revelation. This means that the concept and the word form start simple at the front end and then get progressively harder and more complex as you read your way to the end. It's logical, really. This means that we should start reading at the front end and wind our way to the end. This means that the concept and the word form start simple at the front end and then get progressively harder towards Revelation. I do hope that you will start to read your King James Bible from start to finish because it's designed to be read this way. Will you read your Bible, your King James Bible, from beginning to end? Yes or no? I hope you're going to say yes. The mind of man, the human mind, is a self-patterning system. That means that the mind will always seek to find a pattern if left to itself. Because many teenagers are the exact opposite of my daughter's bedroom is anything to go by. But it's important. It's important to know that we can learn how to think. This mind that I'm speaking about is not the spiritual mind or the natural mind. Because the natural mind is enmity to God and the spiritual mind is uh, the mind of Christ, growing in the mind of Christ. The natural, the spiritual and natural mind are special King James Bible terms. They are part of us. The mind I'm speaking about here is the data processing mind that we have. It, it absorbs data night and day and sorts it out. We use this mind to process all the data that our senses send us. It is the raw data before our emotion, logic, ego has had time to influence it. For instance, take a simple thought. It pops up in your head. Where did that come from? Well, it's not a product of our sinful nature as such. It's just a thought, much like a radio signal. Our mind scans away all day. It's what happens to the thought that matters. Do we dwell on it? Do we cast it out? Etc. Evil or bad thoughts are abroad in the air, spread about in the air, as it were ever since the fall. Now we've been cleansed. We have an evil thought pass through our mind, but we give it no home. It is not us, or even of us. The old Dan is dead, and the new Dan does not dwell on that stuff. Praise the Lord God. Can you see that information is received and acted upon by our brain, our mind? Hope so. So what does this mean? Well, this means that the mind will seek to sort and order everything that comes into it. We need perceptions as they are the shortcuts that we use every day to make decisions with. Now, I don't have time to expand this here, but this is how we can learn to think. And in fact, uh, I, like teaching, I like teaching young people and people how to think. Got a course on it, how to think. We are a three-part being, body, soul, and spirit. Our soul is made up of our mind, emotion, and will. And will. I don't want to get into a doctrinal tussle here, but let's say this is a way of describing it. Actually, it's our perceptions that tend to focus our will. For instance, you're driving along a road, the sunlight comes through the tree branches dappling, uh, you know, uh, shadows and sunlight on the road surface. Suddenly you see a dark patch near the side of the road. 
your brain will process this as a pothole and you move aside to miss it. It was actually a stain on the road surface. See, that's perception working. It, it caused you, your perception caused your will to move. Some of the best things that I've read about on these sorts of matters come from a Christian perspective by Major Ian Thomas, English, and John Herkus, Australian. Both are with the Lord Jesus now. Both of them are so simple yet profound. Thomas wrote three famous books all about the nature of man, and Herkus, a doctor from Macquarie Street in Sydney, a bit like the Mayo Clinic or Harley Street in England, wrote about God's way of drawing men to himself story after story. They both wrote absolutely the sort of material that uh, sends me to the Lord Jesus in wonder and tears. They have the same effect on me as Andrew Murray does. You know, the Lord Jesus perfectly understood the Spirit of God and the Spirit of man. And that's what made him special. Are you, are you glad about this? I am. When you read the Bible from start to finish, you are unconsciously patterning your mind to know the patterns and meanings that God uses, the structure, the syntax, etc. It will happen in the background just as you read line upon line and layer on layer, etc. A problem of reading large chunks is that for many of us, the thing sort of blurs like a long car trip. If only you could see how the things... Uh, that make us great so easily destroy us. Our minds are wonderful in creation and the King James Bible is designed to fit them. Or we could say that our minds are designed to fit the King James Bible. We need to learn how to think. The part that makes learning easy is so often the sort of is sort of corrupted and to unlearn is hard because the ego and the emotions tell the mind that what it is receiving is the truth when in fact sometimes it's not the truth. I wish I had time to expand this. When the scripture tells us how to renew our minds by the word of God it means both the spiritual realm the spiritual mind and the natural mind but also our learning process data mind that is neither good nor bad, but has this wonderful capacity of self-pattern that helps us so much as we learn. But if it is self-patterned incorrectly, the embedded, thought pat the embedded thought patterns become such a problem. Am I making any sense to you? We Christians are unfortunately not in a culture that asks questions. After all, it's a bit hard during a message. And anyway, who likes being the one who does not know? The King James Bible is perfectly designed to program our minds if we get to it without being influenced by the words and concepts of man rather than God himself. Thoughts and patterns such as incorrect modern versions and their man-made footnotes will automatically pattern and program our minds so that and so alter our perceptions unless we're careful. It's a bit like garbage in, garbage out from the computer uh, you know, perspective. Sometimes I ask myself, how do I know this stuff? Well, it's a fair question. We are a mix of our heart and minds. I mean, look at all the strange scriptures. The unsaved are often wiser than the children of light, etc. That's a strange scripture, isn't it? Anyway, we need to program our data processing mind with the words, the thoughts, the syntax, the, context, the concepts that the, word, that the Lord God uses in the King James Bible. This is deliberately done and we need to do it these days more than ever. Now do you want to learn how to do this? To deliberately pattern your mind. So we tend to get used to just passing over what we don't understand or what we think we understand. But left to itself or not, our mind will form what we perceive anyway. If you don't believe me, try to edit something that you've written. You won't be able to do it easily. You'll miss mistake after mistake. 
I have a friend who always reads backwards when he's uh, you know, from uni. He used to do it. He used to edit his material by reading it backwards. I have another friend who asks someone who is slightly antagonistic towards him to edit, or someone with a very competitive mind to edit their material. They'll find everything that's wrong. Me? Well, I use a modern dictation computer program, and then I get another program to read the text back to me as I follow the highlight on the words, but I still miss mistakes. You see, the problem is that the brain says that the words are correct because I know what they should be and what was meant when the brain arranged for them to be written down. So when I go to read it back, it says it's okay. Have you ever tried to edit something that you have written yourself? Because if you have, you know what I'm talking about. What does Go123 do? Well, first of all, go, pray, spend a bit of time praying. Secondly, read. Thirdly, look. It's a deliberate way of arriving where God wants us to be. This system helps give the correct patterns to our mind. We're sending del spending deliberate time and using deliberate methods to let the Word of God pattern our brain. Do you understand the need for us to do this? I hope you do. Go. Well, here's another one. When Jesus says, come, so we go. <laughs> this stands for the fact that the journey is at least as important as the destination. We can't stop the journey of our life. Night follows day continually on our journey through life. The journey is important. Go and come, no matter what. We will have to take a journey. Even when that glorious day comes and we who are alive and will rise to meet him in the air will still make a journey as our feet leave the ground. So we're on a journey. Are you on a journey with the Lord Jesus Christ? I hope so. And we're on a journey when we read the Bible. Praise God. Now consider something. The Word of God is a set of case files about people, families and nations. It repeats over and over the love and the patience of our God towards us, the descendants of Adam and Eve. So of course it will repeat itself over and over, but we need this repetition. Repetition, repetition, re repetition. More important than the real estate mantra, location, location, location. The re have you noticed how much repetition there is in the King James Bible? Hope you have. First, get to a place and pray. Pray believing simply. You will not be heard for your much praying, but because you believe. Read and pray. In and out like breathing. While ever there is spiritual life, we breathe. In, out, in, out, in, out. Now, do you understand the concept of read and look? Well, I'm going to affirm it. Reaffirm it. Okay, it's time for another break. Let's take another break and return to our uh, workbooks and then we can uh, continue on.